it's like a miracle. Like they are so comfy now. Hello everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me today. Do you know, my friend Michelle and I already made a video about making the waist of jeans a bit more snug because her jeans were too big in the waist. Now I seem to have the exact opposite problem. All of my jeans have mysteriously shrunk around the waist and I just need an extra inch or two around the waist. It's not a huge alteration, like the rest of the jeans still fit. The hip is good and even right below the waistband is good. It's just the waistband itself that's completely unforgiving <laughs> and is really uncomfortable. So today I'm gonna to be replacing either part or all of the waistband. Now, if you do a lot of crafting and upcycling and make tote bags and things like that, you might already have jeans <laughs> that look like this, where all that's left really is the waistband. You might get lucky and you already have the right tone that you need for your jeans, or what I'm doing today is using old jeans. So this pair that I have um, is just super unflattering. I never wear them anymore because I just always feel so sloppy in them. So I'm gonna use this whole waistband, but don't worry, the rest of this denim is not gonna go to waste. That's gonna make a lot of beautiful projects. So you might already have the jeans that you need, or you can go and thrift the jeans that are the right color for your jeans. I'm gonna be doing this pair of black ones too. So I just went to the thrift store and I got these ones that are, they're sort of a dorky cut. They look terrible on, so that's a nice match. So we're gonna start with some seam ripping. So let's get busy. The basic concept today is that jeans have a fair bit of ease and give right below the waistband. So if you can do up the buttons or the fly right up to the top, so you just need an inch or two right at the waistband, then this tutorial is going to work for you. If you need more fullness below, like you can't do the zipper up or the buttons up even to here, then you'll need to add fabric in the sides. Now, if you want something that's just super temporary, you can just take an elastic and go around your button like that. That gets you through the day, right? If you think that this is just a temporary situation, you just need to be comfortable for the day, that works actually really well, especially if you have a t-shirt covering it. But if you want a more permanent solution, we're gonna be looking at two different scenarios today. So these are the jeans that I like. They're soft and cozy and they fit nicely. And I'm gonna just be replacing the waistband with this one. It has a bit of stretch in it, as well as the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get extra room just below the waistband. I'm gonna leave the belt loops attached to the jeans, but I'll take them off of the top of the waistband. So now on the back here is a chain stitch. Oh, there we go. That's nice, right? So taking off that is pretty quick. It's just got a regular straight stitch to the end. Oh, sweet. And so then I have to remove this one. I don't want to take the belt loops with me, so again, I'm going to leave them attached to the pants. So with a chain stitch, you kind of have to, oh, well, I can't even show you. That just came off so easily, but it certainly makes removing a waistband a lot easier. Look at that. That's pretty easy. I didn't think it would be that fast. Just to check the concept here, this is the waistband that just came off these. This is the one I'm going to be replacing it with. All right. But just so you understand what I'm talking about here when I say that the pants have more ease right below the waistband. So I've pinned it together here just to show you, like I can stretch those pants out way to there, which is like a good inch past where I can stretch the waistband. Okay, and then this new waistband is gonna be just fine. Okay, sweet. To compare the length of the waistbands, this one is maybe only about five eighths of an inch longer, but the difference is, is that it has stretch to it. Like I can stretch it, I'm still even at that end. I can stretch it so that it's like a good, what, two and a half inches bigger. So that's gonna give me a lot more comfort. I wanna just, snuggle this edge of the pant into the folds of the waistband there. If I trim off a little bit of this corner, I don't want to come right down and trim to where the seam allowance is, but a little bit of that corner off will help me to get this snuggled right in. Cutting off that corner helps it fit in there a bit more. Oh, <laughs> wrong. This 
way. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've got my two ends pinned and now I just want to find centers. So I'm stretching like that to find the center of both and I'll get those centers together. So yeah, the belt seem actually to be lining up nicely. So can you see I'm opening out the waistband, placing that raw edge in between the layers, move the belt loop out of the way and then close it up. And just let everything get tucked in. Okay, so that's all pinned on. I think that that's gonna be so comfy. And like, would you ever think that that's not the original waistband? I have yellow thread. I think I'll sew around the whole thing with the yellow thread. It's not a heavy top stitching thread. I'll try it, we'll see if we like it. And I'm gonna just sew here where the button is just to test it out and see if it looks good. Okay. So first of all, I can see that I need to increase the stitch length. That's the default length of 2.5 millimeters. So I'll take it up to 3.5, but also it just doesn't look heavy enough. The thread doesn't look like this original top stitching thread. Oh, look how long that stitch is. Maybe I'll take it up to four. Then I'm gonna show you something pretty cool that I'm gonna try to just make that thread look heavier. Switch to this, a top stitching needle. And if you can see on these, the eye is huge compared to most machine needles. I'm gonna change to that needle. And then I only have one spool of that yellow thread. So I wound more yellow thread onto an extra bobbin. I'm putting my extra little spool pin, put that bobbin on there. And then I'm gonna take both threads together and treat them as if they're one thread. I just put both threads through the top stitching needle. So I've got two threads threaded into the eye of that needle. So now I'm gonna start right here and basically I'm sewing it right back in just to how it was originally made. And I've only sewn oh, maybe three, four inches, but it looks so good. And you see over here, I'll show you closer when I'm done, but that looks good, right? Oh my gosh. Another nice trick with is that if your thread isn't quite the right color and you have a second one that's not quite the right color, like one's too light, one's too dark, you can put the two different color threads through and then it kind of blends them to look like the right color. Can you see how that looks so nice? So my stitch length is four millimeters and with the two threads together, it just like toughens it up. Ooh, I'm super happy with that. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna need a zipper foot to get around this button or what. Nope, apparently not, that's no problem. Instead of going all the way around, I think I'm gonna end here and come back from the other side just so I have the edge on my right. It's super thick right at that corner, so I'm just having to help it along a little bit. There, no problem. I could catch the belt loops in on this round, but I think I'll come back and get them. Hey, belt loops. The original bar tack is still sitting there, even though it's obviously not functional, but I'm just gonna do a back tack right on top of it. So it's gonna look normal. And again, it's super thick. So I'm just gonna help it a little. Okay, now I think you're not even gonna believe me that that's the second waistband like that's not the original one you would just never ever think that i just replaced the waistband would you like i would not that looks amazing i gotta say i'm super happy with that i'm gonna try it on i'm excited okay i just tried them on and it's like a miracle like they are so comfy now this is the original waistband i just want to show you the difference like I can just stretch it and it's so comfy. It looks pretty much the same, but it feels like a whole new pair of jeans. Like I am thrilled with that. Okay, the black ones are a different situation for a couple of reasons. One is that this waistband is just about the same as this. Honestly, like there is not much difference between the two. And so they're both a little too small. Yeah, they're they're exactly the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna be kind of splicing a piece of this into here. I'm gonna leave the front attached. I'm gonna take off the back. I'm gonna create a seam underneath these front belt loops. The end result will be bigger than either one of the waistbands. So that makes some sense, doesn't it? Okay, 
So kind of the same thing, except I'm leaving the front attached. Neither one of these waistbands has any stretch. So that was part of the miracle of the blue ones is that that stretchy waistband just feels like a dream. I want to replace this whole back piece. I don't want to just set a piece in and I want the seam to be hidden under this belt loop. So I want the seam right there. So I'll cut this one half an inch or five eighths of an inch past that half an inch or five eighths of an inch around there to the other side. Good. So now this piece is what I want to replace, but I want to replace it with a piece that's bigger. If you don't have another pair of black jeans, you could just get black denim or matching denim. You would just cut a rectangle that matches this. That could be okay too, right? So I'm just going to cut this end right beside the buttonhole. And I'll cut this one right beside the button so that I've got as much to work with as I can. Okay, so the new waistband is like four inches longer, but I'm not going to be able to stretch these out to be four inches longer, but we'll see. So I'm joining my replacement waistband to that little bit left at the front of the original one. Ooh, I should probably get all these yucky threads out. That's kind of fun. You'll enjoy that part. Very great. Okay. If I just do a finger press and push that seam allowance open, so that feels nice and smooth now. And I know it's black on black again. That seems to be my life story, but hopefully it all makes sense. I'm joining the join on the other end now. This is just like the blue one now where I'm putting, tucking everything back in. Got lots of pins. And so now I'll just be sewing along that edge. I'm using a four millimeter long stitch again. And I'm stretching as I go because I want to get that waistband to lay flat. I'm not pulling it through. I'm letting it go through at its own pace, but I'm holding it in a stretched out position as it goes through. And I might have been overly ambitious with how much I was trying to pack in here, like maybe a bit too much to expect. So I'm ending up with some puckers. I'm not happy. I've got this big pucker that's starting to form here and I don't appreciate it. That looks yucky. What I'm gonna do is try it on and see if I don't need that, I will take it out and take a little bit less here because that's yucky. I tried them on and unfortunately I really do need all of that waistband and I just can't stretch these pants any further. They stretched a fair bit but I really got greedy with the amount that I was trying to add in. Clearly I do need to set a little triangle into the side seam at the top here near the waistband. Normally I don't really love seeing that but I think on the black it'll be fairly well hidden there we go, we have to do it. So I cut a couple strips from the leg of the second pair of jeans. If you don't want to cut into the leg, you could use some of the waistband that you're not using. You could use that. The front side, this has a flat felled seam on it, like that double top stitch seam. So I'll just be top stitching that onto this side. But first I want to sew right sides together with this raw edge that's coming from the back. The raw edge of the back is tucked in to the flat felled seam here. So I'm just gonna snip that seam allowance so that I can bring that out. Then I'm gonna just go right side together with that seam. I'm gonna angle this toward the center of this piece. The smaller my seam allowance, the more of the original fabric that's gonna show, and then the smaller my little triangle is gonna have to be. And I really would like it as discreet as possible. And I'm just gonna sew here, and then I'll come right back and show you. I just sewed at a quarter inch seam allowance, like running the edge of my presser foot along the edge of the jeans. And then I went ahead and just zigzagged the edge. I'm gonna just trim off the extra. You could trim first and then zigzag. With that piece coming out flat, now the front can go back on top of it. And I'm just gonna follow in those original um, top stitch lines. I'm giving myself like about three quarters of an inch here, two centimeters. Nothing shouts out waist alteration like seeing a triangle in the side seam there. That's pretty discreet, right? You and I know that I added to the waist of my jeans, but I don't know if anyone else is going to notice that. And if they do, then they might just think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that that's going to fit, that I'm not adding too much extra. I want it just to sit nicely in there. I think that's going to be fine. And now I'll just trim this off 
even, like making the front and back even. And I'll trim a little bit from the inside. Like, and since this side is double top stitched, I'm not gonna worry too much about finishing my edges. So now I'll just be putting the waistband back on just the same way that I did the blue. Once that waistband is back on, that's all you see of the triangle. That's pretty good, right? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, the black ones are done. There's the little triangle. It's only that big set into the waist. I just tried them on and just like the blue ones, they're like miraculously more comfortable and I'm not bothered by that little triangle. And then here's the seam where the two pieces of the waistband join. The seam's hidden under the belt loop and so that's not going to call attention to itself, right? That's pretty discreet. So that's pretty great. I'd say that's a win. The blue ones are even more discreet because the side seam didn't change and so they both Yep, they are both the same, and they're both super comfortable, so I'm really, really happy with that. I love it. Oh my goodness, it's it's like I have two new pairs of jeans, and that was pretty quick and not too difficult and so worth it because they both are so much more comfortable. They both look better too. It's just a sleeker fit, not kind of squishing me in so much at the waist and making more of a muffin top. It looks better, it feels better, that's a win. Thanks so much for watching. Before you go, Think about giving me a thumbs up and hitting subscribe and hitting that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video because it's just great to have you along for the ride. I'm always happy when you stop by. Until next time on Catherine Sews, you take care.